Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with my 2023 Bath & Body Works Candle Day Haul. My candle haul is a little bit delayed because probably as you can tell, I got a cold late last week and normally I would go to the candle sale typically Friday, like just to get it knocked out, get my haul up, whatever. But because of my condition, um, I wanted to give it like a couple of days so I could be as well as possible, especially since I chose to go in store. Um, I really did not want to go into store yesterday because, you know, like I said, I just wanted to chill. And also I knew that yesterday would probably be the craziest. So I just didn't want to do that. So I did wait until today, which is Sunday. Um, and I definitely feel better than I did yesterday for sure. I just still sound pretty rough. So anyway, that's why I'm a little bit late to the party this year with my candle stuff, but I definitely wanted to share with you all um, what I picked up. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Rachel. Um, this is not my normal voice, just so you know, um, but normally I do Bath & Body Works content. So if you are joining me for the first time, thank you for clicking on this video and definitely subscribe because um, winter and summer are generally my busy seasons on my channel. And so in December and January in particular, I'm going to have a lot of really cool Bath & Body Works content coming up. So uh, definitely check me out and stick around. And yeah, that'll be it. So um, yeah, like I said, it's really just a candle haul. Three Wick Candles were $9.95 this weekend. Um, I thought about shopping online, but by the time I opened up my app this morning, it said that online was totally sold out. So I decided to then maybe do a Bopis order so I wouldn't be like lingering in the store. But even with Bopis stuff, the app this morning was just crazy and all over the place with how many products it claimed that my store had. It just like really needed an exorcism this morning. So I just kind of said screw it and just went into the store with an agenda and kind of tried to get in and out as quickly as I as I could. So Without further ado, this is it. I have a little bit of pocket back stuff to share with you, and then I'll get into my three-wick candles. So earlier in the week, um, a follower named Tiffany, hey Tiffany, thanks for watching and supporting my channel, and for following me on, following me on Instagram, by the way. Um, she reached out and said that Bath & Body Works had coconut lime verbena pocket backs, and if you know me, you know that that is like my baby fragrance. I love it. So uh, thanks to her guidance, I did pick up a lot, a lot, of coconut lime verbena pocket bags I caught like 12 and I'm sure the person who fulfilled my order just looked at it and said who is this woman but hey hello that woman is me so just take my word for it I got 12 of these so coconut lime verbena the packaging is cute I guess I mean I don't really pay much attention to pocket bags but at least it makes sense for the fragrance and it does smell true to what it's supposed to smell like I also decided to pick up a uh, one pocket back in vanilla bean noel I picked up, I think maybe three in Fresh Sparkling Snow. I'm not a Fresh Sparkling Snow person in Home Fragrance. I think it just kind of irritates me a little bit because it's so intense, but I don't mind it in a hand soap and in pocket backs. Um, and then I also picked up a couple of rose water and ivies because I love this fragrance in a pocket back. So thanks again to Tiffany for the tip. I am very appreciative of it. Now let's get into some candle day goodness. I'm going to start with all my like Christmassy slash holiday candles and then get into at least in their mind what is a winter to spring transition line and then just some spring stuff and then white barn core. So let's get into it. The first one that I picked up is one that I get every single year. This naturally is fresh balsam. Keynotes are woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, and cedar wood. Mm. And it smells so good. This is definitely not for everyone. I don't know that I would necessarily gift this unless I knew that that person liked fresh balsam. I think Tree Farm is more giftable, but for myself, I'm a fresh balsam girl. I love it. The next one that I picked up is Merry Cookie. I've actually never had a Merry Cookie before. I've always passed it up, but this year I was interested in it. So the keynotes are fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, and rich vanilla. And it very much so smells like a buttery, decadent cookie. So I figured it would just be good to burn whenever. Because of the packaging, I will want to burn it during the holidays or maybe in January because I just don't want this aesthetic in my house afterward but yeah I wanted to pick one up just to enjoy it because I feel like it's definitely a staple but for some reason or another I've just never had it before 
The next one that I picked up is one that I feel like people are very mixed on in our community. It's Raspberry Thumbprint. At first I didn't really love it, but I wanted to give it a second chance and I actually liked it the second time. The keynotes are buttery shortbread, uh, rich raspberry jam sprinkled with powdered sugar. And to me, it does smell like a raspberry cookie. There's something kind of jelly-like in the raspberry, which I guess makes sense for a thumbprint cookie. But then I do get that kind of buttery shortbread too. And yeah, I really like it. So I am not a cinnamon person. You guys know that from like following me in the fall. But this is a really good option for people like me who want something that feels kind of holiday, but... You know, I can't do the like cinnamon wreath kind of whatever. That's not me. So this will be me instead. Okay, so that is it for my holiday stuff. I know it seems like a whole lot of nothing, but I did already purchase a Crush Candy Cane, a Frosted Pear Forest, I think that's it, and also a Frosted Cranberry. So those things will get me through definitely through the beginning of January. As you guys know, if you've been with my channel, once January 2nd is here, like I'm moving on. I am so not the holiday person. Like once the holidays are done, hit me up with that, you know, spring transition type stuff. I don't need to go to the beach on January 2nd in terms of my fragrance, but you know, I'm ready to move on. I don't really want this really heavy holiday stuff anymore. So that's why I have so few of these. But I do usually, usually wait until candle day to purchase um, the vast majority of my candles. Like I will let my collection dwindle until candle day and then I'll just do my thing on candle day. So uh, next one I picked up is White Chocolate Macadamia. If you follow me on, yeah, White Chocolate Macadamia. If you follow me on Instagram, I did a rapid fire first impression of this candle and it was pretty positive. So the keynotes are... Chewy cookie filled with crunchy macadamia nuts and white chocolate chips. And yeah, I I don't really care for Bath & Body Works' chocolate. I mean, like, sue me. But I just don't. To me, it smells very powdery and shallow, if you will. Like, not decadent. So for that reason, like, I would not be horrified if somebody gifted me a chocolate candle from Bath & Body Works. But I'm personally way more into stuff like this like this really just smells more like a nutty cookie to me and I do like that so I think this may just be a one and done like I really didn't feel like I needed to hoard this but one would be fine for me I think I'll enjoy it while it lasts and then move on I did get a couple from the sweet shop collection or whatever Bath and Body Works is calling it this year I picked up a blueberry lemon sour so Cute packaging. I'm glad that it makes sense for the fragrance because we don't always get that from Bath & Body Works. Keynotes are sugared lemonade and blueberry sugar. And I definitely get the lemonade first. It is prominent, but it's very much so a sugared lemon. Um, would I pick out blueberry from this? I mean, maybe. Like, I... Maybe if I like sat there and like ruminated on it, but if it didn't say blueberry lemon sour, I wouldn't necessarily make that jump. So, but yeah, it just smells like a really nice sugary candied lemon sweet. The next one that I picked up is lavender marshmallow. We've had lavender marshmallow before. Again, nice packaging. I wouldn't call it simple per se, but at least it makes sense. And the color of the wax is cute. Uh, keynotes are fluffy marshmallow touch of lavender and fresh vanilla bean. It smells just like the uh, the lavender marshmallow that we've had in years past. Again, at least every year, it's very much so a one and done, but I do like to have it, again, to transition me from the end of the holidays into spring. Speaking of spring, I also picked up a couple that I think would be very appropriate for spring. So in addition to picking up the rest of my holiday candles, uh, candle day is really when I'm going to pick up um, anything that I want to really get me ready for spring, get me through like March and April. So then I picked up an afternoon rainfall. So I also mentioned this in my kind of rapid impressions on Instagram. To me, the label makes no sense. To me, this looks like something that should be wintry, but it is so not that at all. So the keynotes are soft raindrops tapping at your window, fresh aloe blossoms, and hint of musk. And yeah, it's like aquatic 
and vegetal, like very green, but not green grass. And kind of perfumey, like I wouldn't drink anything that smells like this, definitely not. Um, but yeah, I really like it. Again, the label makes no sense. Like, I know that I want warmer weather and kind of to get out of the holiday mindset after January 2nd. But yeah, just for me, the label and the scent together just do not compute. Like it would make so much more sense if the label had aloe or like rain or whatever on it. So anyway, I like the fragrance. You guys know that even if I hate the packaging, I'll still buy it if I like the fragrance. But yeah, this is just one of those instances where it's like the label itself is not terrible. It just doesn't belong on this fragrance. All right, so next, I also picked up, speaking of spring, the perfect spring. So this year, Bath & Body Works launched the perfect with every season. The perfect autumn, by the way, is the same perfect autumn that we've had for years. Um, but they had a perfect spring candle, I want to say back in maybe, it was definitely either 2016 or 2017. It was one of those years for sure, but it was not the same fragrance as this. It was kind of like a weird like fresh leaves, like not autumn leaves, but like fresh spring leaves and cinnamon. Like it was very strange and I didn't like it. Um, but yeah, this year is totally different. So the keynotes are spring air, fresh grass and apple blossoms. And I think that this is much more appropriate for springtime. Again, it is kind of perfumey. It's airy. It's kind of light, but not like lightly scented. The scent itself is light and kind of refreshing. Um, and yeah, it just smells a lot more airy and uplifting and alive. I can definitely get the apple blossoms. Like it smells like there's kind of a sweet floral at the end. But yeah, I really like it. Again, I don't think I need to hoard this. I think I'm kind of good with probably one or two, but I wanted to pick it up anyway. And the perfect summer, I think, was just suntan. Perfect winter. I don't know. It was very much so like a menthol kind of scent. So I'm good with that. But anyway, that was the perfect spring. Next one I picked up is an annual one for me. This is Fresh Cut Lilac. Say what you will about this, but I really love this every year. Keynotes are lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. Mm, and I like it. Some people don't because it is like straightforward florals, but I love it. So this is definitely one that I burn when the husband is not around just because he would hate this. If you don't like florals, do not ever buy this. But I like florals, especially for springtime, especially for like a bright sunny day when I kind of just want to open the windows. This is great for that. Fresh cut lilacs. I typically will buy that at Candle Day because generally they'll have it. Next, I have Sweet Pea. So I was happy to see that Bath & Body Works brought some of their body care scents into store. Um, in terms of candles, what I would really have loved to see is Beautiful Day. If they had Beautiful Day, I would like snatch that up. But just for kind of like old time's sake, if you will, I wanted to pick up a Sweet Pea. I'm not into Sweet Pea in body care. I think it's just a little bit juvenile for me anymore. But I, you know, I can appreciate it in a candle. I only need one, but I'll definitely pick it up. <clears throat> uh, keynotes are Sweet Pea, Watery Pear, Sheer Freesia, and Luscious Raspberry. I really don't know how that compares to the body care keynotes but it is the same fragrance. So again, back in the day, they kind of only did body care fragrances and candles. And by that, I mean like the early to mid 2000s. And they've kind of brought it back a little bit in the 2010s, but I'm glad to see it here again. So sweet pea. The next two I picked up are um, starting to kind of get into white barn core a little bit. I picked up two of my Precious Pink Apple Punch. Keynotes are Crisp Apple, Sun Kissed Melon, and Sugar Crystals. And I know a lot of people don't like Pink Apple Punch because they think it's synthetic, and I totally get that. But honestly, I really love it. To me, it just smells like a very kind of fizzy, kind of fake, but still nice and charming uh, Pink Lady Apple. I love Pink Lady Apples. They're very delicious. Those in Granny Smith are my favorite. Um, so I do like to pick up a couple of these. Again, it's very like bright and cheery and yet synthetic, but I still love it for any time of year. Like I can burn this in literally any season and just love it. So 
Those are my two pink apple punches. I've got a couple more. I also picked up a pineapple mango. Again, one that I typically will get at candle day. Keynotes are fresh pineapple juice, mango, and vine ripened raspberry. Those have been the keynotes for a long time. And it's the same fragrance. So yeah, same kind of thing with pink apple punch. People will, you know, talk trash on pineapple mango. This is not one that I want all the time, but like one or two a year, I can definitely get down with. It is fakey, it is syrupy, but I think that like in a way that's kind of part of the charm. Okay, now let's get into some actual white barn core again. These are ones that I'll burn like once or twice a year and then I'm kind of done. But because I know that I'll burn it and enjoy it, I do always want to pick it up at candle day. So the first one they picked up from white barn core is white gardenia. Uh, just like fresh cut lilacs, this is definitely one where I will burn it when my husband is not home. Uh, this says classic white gardenia, fresh pick greenery, sweet apple and white tuberose. Mm, and this is very much so a heavy white floral. Again, I would not recommend it as a gift unless you know that the person who's receiving it loves florals because this to me is not especially guest friendly. It is not universally pleasing, but if you love florals, then white gardenia is definitely where it's at. It's so heavy and intense that even for me, once a year is good, but I still like to have one once a year. The next one that I picked up is good for any time of year. This is vanilla bean. Key notes are Madagascar vanilla bean, homemade marshmallow, warm cinnamon nutmeg, and that's it. And yeah, the difference between vanilla bean and Mary Cookie is that vanilla bean, um, it does have that nutmeg bit and to me is a little bit more musky. Like I wouldn't eat anything that smells like vanilla bean. I think I would just like need to call poison control if I did that, but it's still a nice fragrance in terms of home fragrance. So Mary Cookie is definitely more edible. If you're wanting to give something or have something that's more edible, Mary Cookie is definitely the way to go. But for really any time of year, just in your home, vanilla bean is nice. And I do think that vanilla bean is definitely giftable too. The next one that I picked up is Sugared Lemon Zest. I burned one of these maybe in the summer and my husband really enjoyed it. It says Tangy Sorrento Lemons, uh, bright lemon zest and fresh sugar cane. And this one is also intense. If you know that someone loves lemon, this is a good one, but it will kind of like, at least on cold, is very in your face. So it smells like a very sugared lemon. Like what sugar smells like, I don't know, but it smells like a sugared lemon. It smells like uh, lemon plus something else because it's not just sour. It's definitely sour and sweet and I really enjoy it. It smells a little candied like honestly. The next one that I picked up is a cactus blossom candle. So keynotes are desert cactus flower petals. Yeah, uh, fresh sparkling citrus and warm vanilla coconut. Cactus blossom is one that I really only care to have about once a year if that just because like I feel like people lose their mind over cactus blossom. I don't, but I still enjoy the fragrance. So typically this is good for me in February or so where again, it's still pretty cold outside us, at least here in KC, it's still pretty cold in February. Um, but I love the kind of pink aesthetic for February and I think it's just nice and bright and fun for that time of year. Getting toward the end, speaking of things I like to burn in February, I also picked up a rose water and ivy. This is one I could burn a couple of throughout the year, but not go crazy for. Um, so the keynotes are soft rose petals, rain kissed English ivy, and lemon blossom, and also soft spring musk. So I don't get any kind of lemon blossom. I don't know. But yeah, it just smells like, like a green rose scent like a soft rose scent plus greenery. So I feel like they've changed the notes a little bit. I don't feel like lemon blossom has always been in the notes because even I'm looking at this like, hmm, don't know. But I mean, it's the same fragrance it's always been. So I really love that. Again, February is a great time for that. And then the last one that I picked up is strawberry pound cake. Again, one that I like to burn like once a year and then that's it. The keynotes are fresh picked strawberries, golden shortcake and whipped cream. It smells just like it always has since it came out in what, 2019? Something like that. So again, usually a one and done for me, but I do like to pick it up every single year. 
So that is it for my Candle Day 2023 haul. I hope y'all enjoyed. Like I said, please excuse my voice. It will not be like this all the time. So hopefully in a couple days, I will definitely sound more, uh, more normal because in a couple days, I will be back with my Bath and Body Works empties for the month of November. Um, I will have a beauty empties coming up and I will do some hauling. Like I'll probably do body care day next weekend. And once SAS rolls around, I'll definitely haul from that too. So all kinds of good stuff coming up in December on my channel. Again, thanks for sticking around. I enjoy being able to share this with you and I appreciate everyone's support. And I did have a big influx of um, subscribers in November. So thanks to everyone for that. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Lifting and Lipstick. I'll put that down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.